All right, so I basically had to start this thing over because um, my Rode mic on top of the camera was not working. So basically you guys couldn't hear me before. So I went ahead and got my other mic, this one right here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. But I did mix everything together. And here it is, the little concoction. And you could see that the, I don't know if you can tell, the honey settled at the bottom. Which is, that's fine. This is going to be really messy. I had to borrow, well, no, let me rephrase that. I took one of my husband's shirts here because it is definitely going to get messy. So I have my water bottle right here and I'm going to wet my hair. You guys can see me. So I'm going to go ahead and wet. Well, actually, let me separate my hair first. So I'm going to put it into four sections. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my hair not like completely wet it but just I'm just gonna dip mix it up My hair was a little dry after taking out the um, Marley twists. So this will help with um, hydration, of course. A little bit of uh, growth. Because I want my hair to be hydrated, of course. That is one of the rules to natural hair is having is making sure that your hair is moisturized and you see I'm actually making sure it is saturating the ends as well all right so we're just going to do the same thing and just move on to the next section
so I got I got this brush I actually got this one from Amazon so I'm gonna go ahead and try this brush out let's see how it goes and my hair right now has um, some conditioner in it the black Jamaican black castor oil from Shea Moisture ooh Ooh. This is a really good detangler brush, y'all. you guys so i have this um i want to say it's a mason jar but i got this from the dollar tree but i have um the rice water sitting here it's been sitting for two days now i added um three drops of this lavender essential oil in there for the smell of course and there was a lime in there also and i just took that out not a lime a lemon sorry and i have this empty water bottle right here or spray bottle my goodness so what I'm going to do take my strainer I have the small strainer right here I'm going to actually grab a now I don't have, I wish, you know what, actually, let me go see in my garage if I have a funnel. If my husband has a funnel lying around in there somewhere, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I found a funnel in the garage, just rinsed it off a little bit, cleaned it up. Don't worry about whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Anyways, so I'm going to stick the funnel in there and let me try to bring the camera up for you guys. And then I'm going to pour the water. Oops. Still going. There we go. Just wanted to pour a little bit in there first before I did the rest in the strainer. Okay, so I poured the rest in this bowl and now I'm just going to pour it through the strain through the funnel All right there we go okay. so now um, my hair is up in a towel right now I am going to bring you guys over there um, in front of my camera, other camera, and show you guys um, how I spray this on my hair To And I'm not rinsing this out. This is going to actually be sprayed on my hair. And then I'm going to um, twist my hair up and let it air dry. Okay, so here's my little concoction. My rice water. And I'm spraying it all over my hair. Okay. Let me wrap my towel around myself because this shit is cold. 
Okay, so I spray it in my hair and then I just comb it through. My hair was already starting to get dry because I had it up in the in a shirt. That is one thing about my hair. It gets it um, actually soaks up liquid really, really fast. It it can dry really, really fast, especially if I leave it out like this. Okay, so this is basically my wash day routine. I like to definitely prepare my hair um, before I actually get it or I actually do my hair. So this is what I like to do before any styles, whether if I'm going to wear a wig. So I would, you know, prep my hair for that. And then if I'm, of course, if I'm wearing a wig, I just do a few braids going straight back. And I'm actually going to be doing some long jumbo braids in um, rubber band method. So I definitely wanted to make sure my hair was definitely well taken care of um, before I actually do my hair. So yeah, I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this uh, quick wash day pre-poo. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section below other, any ideas maybe that push the growth of my hair as well. My hair is doing very, very well and I'm very proud of myself. I actually want to get it back to the length before I started wearing a, like putting relaxer in my hair, which I was about 12 years old when my mother decided to put a relaxer in my hair. And before that relaxer, my hair was, it was amazing. Super long, super thick. And that's basically the goals that I want to get my hair back to that goal. I want to get my hair back to that length, everything. Maybe even uh, surpass that, but yeah, so I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye.